My name is Holly. This is my floss tube, Hobbies of Holly. This is a channel where I talk about cross stitch, sometimes quilting, and sometimes other hobbies that I have. Today is a floss tube extra. I thought it might be interesting to show you my crafting space, my creating space, and the tour of my basement. So follow along. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to my basement. This is where I do my crafting and my creating. When you first come down the stairs, there's a bedroom to the right, and that is the bunk bedroom, toy room for my grandkids. But who are we kidding? They sleep on my floor when they visit. This area had a pool table in it for 18 years. And a couple of years ago, I thought we never used this. I could probably use this space better. So we moved the television and couch to this space. That was my husband's Christmas gift from our children. And that way it freed up this space for me to make my sewing, cross stitch, creating space. There's a kitchenette in that corner. Um, the cabinets are full of crafting supplies. That table is where I fill my floss tubes. The um, screen is from Amazon and it's a pegboard and I love it. So I hang vintage hoops and that sort of thing on it. Um, my cutting table, uh, my sewing area is messy. That's okay, that's just how I create. And my sewing machines. And then this is the view you see behind me when I am filming a floss tube. How about if we put this down? So the two flanking sets of bookcases, to the left is my quilting fabric, and to the right are cross stitch things, the spool cabinet I purchased on Facebook Marketplace. And in the spool cabinet I keep skeins of DMC that I have not put on floss drops yet. And each bucket is like 600, 700s, etc. And that's what these top two drawers are. The next drawer is Ara Floss. This drawer has specialty floss like Krynik and the sparkly kind of DMC. Can't remember what that's called. Spools of Sulky are in this drawer. And this one's just miscellaneous things. Above, there are my 103 silks. That is a set that I have finished the project. The rest of my 103s are kitted in projects. And then just gifts from friends or things I've made. Um, this has special meaning for me, this Coates and Clark. My mom's best friend, when I was a little girl, painted this and put the little items. There's a teeny tiny sewing machine in there. She and my mom toll painted together a lot, and so that is special to me. Um, a vintage sewing machine. I'm sorry about the light, I know it's not great. Um, this has cross stitch sampler books, um, reference books, and then I also keep my previous year's book of days, and the Union Farms container has my project cards in it. On the mantle is a basket that I keep those are usually my bigger projects that I work just a little bit at a time on. Um, this is the modern folk embroidery piece that you might be able to see behind me when I film a floss tube. This is, I forget the name, Ingletight is in the name, and I believe it was the 2022 uh, Mystery Sal. I loved every stitch in this. I made mistakes, so I had to shift some things, add some things, delete some things, but I love it. Um, this is where I sit and stitch, for the most part. Um, these chairs were a Facebook Marketplace find. That's the Bright Tech magnifying floor lamp. I have this one clamped onto a table from Amazon. My stitching tray is ready to go. This basket has, this is my, um, I think that's called a sew together bag that I made, has all my supplies in it, but then this basket has current whips that I'm actively stitching on. I think I've shown you the basement. 
more about this white piece, this is where I store thing, projects that are kitted, my linen, and my cross-stitch charts. So let me show you the drawers. This has kits in it. It's messy, but everything in it is ready to go. The floss, the linen, the chart. This one has a few in there also. This is my linen drawer. These containers came from Target. It's a very deep drawer. And so I have them sorted by count and then subdivided into um, dyers. That just makes most sense for my brain. So that's my 28 and 32, my 36, my 40, some more 40 and 46. This drawer holds my charts. The containers within it are from the container store. The container on the right has Blackbird that are filed alphabetically and hats, which are hands across the sea. Those are probably the designers I have collected the most charts. The container on the left has, for the most part, the rest of my charts. I like to sort by designer, and I find I'm a, I'm a piler, not a filer. So I had them in three ring binders with the sleeves, but that was just too many steps for me to put away charts when I was finished or got new charts. So I wanted to just drop things in behind a divider. So they're divided by designer. And if I don't have more than a couple of, from that designer, I put, I have samplers and I have smalls um, section there. And this drawer is Christmas. This has my charts, again, divided by designer. And these bags have Christmas whips. And then this is still a binder that I do keep various Christmas charts in. On this side of the kitchen area holds this shelf. And this was purchased at a flea market. And it's an NCR cabinet. And NCR is National Cash Register, which was in Dayton for years and years. Also, if I can go back up there. That box in the middle was my father's barber kit. And I love that. My father was a barber and my mother was a beautician. And they went to school together. My dad didn't end up barbering long. But anyways, inside here, I keep odds and ends for finishing. Um, also, I keep these rings, punches for cards, glass drops, finishing things. This is all of my whisker that I've talked about. And also, this is a mix of um, number 12 Stitch Co's velvet for backing and lady dot backing. this as back in the bowels of the basement. This is deeper in our basement. There's no light. This used to be my sewing space. My sewing machine was there, etc. But this is how I store my floss. So I keep DMC in numeric order on rings. Um, this is my DMC chart that I used for converting. My color on cotton I keep in color families since I mostly use it to convert when I'm looking for a, a floss. My classic color works, my week style works. These trays I keep on top when I finish a project and I need to file away my, oops, I'm sorry, my flosses. And I've been delaying my weeks because I wanna put them all on these hang tags. And I've started it, you can see from my messy, but I haven't finished it. One day, I'll get time for that. My Gentle Arts, my Roxy Floss Co. I also have in color families on the, the rings. My Cosmo, these are my flower threads. These are my sulky threads, my silks. These are also sulky. This is miscellaneous that I think I purchased from someone who was de-stashing. These are the spool pods I've talked about before, which I have the label on, that I use 
to um, put in a project bag when I'm stitching with 103 silks or um, RF floss or sulkies. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope it all made sense to you. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll try to answer them. Um, I really appreciate you joining me today. I would love it if you would subscribe and like my channel. And until next time, happy stitching.